It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a can of Firestone Walker Leo vs. Ursus Chronology Fortum Unfiltered Imperial India Pale Ale coming in at 8.2% ABV. A one pint American 16 fluid ounce can. Let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the can opening. Beer in the glass then. Developed a nice three finger slightly off white head. Good levels of carbonation. It's a slightly hazy double IPA then. Pretty cool. Lots of carbonation. Look at the carbonation streaming up the glass. It's a bit like one of those kind of YouTube live kind of log fire videos, you know? You sit there for hours watching the fire crackling on your TV. It's a bit like that, isn't it? You could sit watching a beer on your TV for God knows how long. Well, I could anyway. Watch it all day until I can Watching it all day salivating while I can wait for to drink the beer in the night. Um, the beer is available from beersofeurope.co.uk, the largest online beer store in the UK, with a fantastic range of beer from all over the world. America, UK, Germany, France, Belgium, Sweden, Denmark, all over the world, Mexico, Brazil. You can get beers really Poland, Austria, Check out beersofeurope.co.uk in the description box of the video for, for worldwide beers. On we go. Let's get the aroma. Yes! Exactly what I was expecting from Firestone Walker. A big, deep, tropical aroma. Grapefruit. Pineapple. Mango, citrus, fleshy blood orange. Absolutely wonderful aroma to the beer then. Let's dive in. Cheers everybody. It's nice. It's very nice. Mango, citrus, tropical fruit, grapefruit, spicy, dry, spicy back end, bitter back end. I like the flavours to begin with. I love that mango, that, that grapefruit, that citrus. Really punchy beer. And it's a very, very drinkable Imperial IPA. It's very refreshing. But at the same time, you get that kind of hop stickiness on the lips. It's incredibly refreshing and drinkable with that stickiness on the lips from the hops. And it's got a slight kind of medium mouthfeel. I'm very hesitant here because it's very refreshing, but it, it, it's got that lovely element of malt and hops. It's, it's very much a big, bold, smashing beer. A beer to smash your face off, which you want but at the same time it's very refreshing. The carbonation pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth, releasing all that flavour onto your palate. Mm. And then there's some biscuit malt on the back end. I was, I, this is the longest, most hesitant, Stone the Crows I've ever given because I was just tasting the beer I just wanted to drink it and make sure because the first sip I don't know if you want to rewind the video 
have a look at my maybe my facial expressions gave it away I was a little bit worried at, 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 after the first taste there was some butteriness and and I immediately ah oh no alarm bells were going off in my head so it took me a bit of time just to kind of drink the beer just to make sure no diacetyl whatsoever that's what I'm getting at you, you kind of experience people out there who are watching my videos will understand that straight away but I wanted to make sure I wanted to well I've, I've nearly drunk half a glass it's biscuit bready malt that's coming through there's there's quite a bit of caramel in there as well maybe maybe the beer is not at its absolute freshest. I can't quite work out the date on the bottom of the can. It's not, it's not a great... I can't quite read that. It's not quite kind of coming to me here. But anyway, let's get some of that beer in the glass. Of course, it'd come from America. It might have sat on a boat for a month. I am pretty sure, at the brewery, this is a monumental, fantastic example of a double IPA. It still is. But the very fact that it's got to come from America on a boat for a month to the UK, already, it, it might have lost some of its hop character which then once you lose a bit of that hop character you then get more of the kind of caramel flavors coming through from the malt which you could call balance if you're an experienced beer drinker like me you overcome problems like that by thinking yeah there might be a bit of balance in the beer now a little bit of sweetness to balance off that bitterness i still think it's a great beer it's a great beer it's a stone the crows beer I would love to try it on tap at the brewery. That's what I'm getting at. The head has kept itself very well as I drunk the beer. I want to talk about Firestone work in general now. Um, it's been a while since I reviewed a Firestone Walker beer. Uh, I think it's a fantastic brewery coming out of America. Um, it's one of those breweries that takes me back to my beer reviewing kind of past. I, it clicks me back instantly, about three years, when I suppose I was in my absolute prime. I'm still in my prime now reviewing beer, but, but my absolute excitement for beer, if you like, when I was kind of Googling everything up and I was kind of looking at all the beer online beer shop websites daily just to see if there's anything new coming out um my interest is still there but i i don't kind of do it as much as i used to um i simply just don't have the time anymore but but i i still review my two beers a day on youtube i'm still here um but it takes me back to I don't know maybe maybe happier times maybe happier times in terms of in terms of having the time to I was devoting so much to the channel I was kind of searching beers from, do you know when you're in your moment you're in your bubble uh, I think that was the bubble that was the moment when and I was I remember having a parcel of beer uh, delivered to me here I, I bought a, a load of Firestone Walker beers on the internet uh, their whole range uh, and they come to me and I was so excited, I was so excited to have these beers. Um, I'm not standing here saying the excitement's waned at all. I'm probably standing here, um, what am I trying to say here? What's the word, what, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Not my priorities, my priorities are massively still in the channel. I still love beer. It's just that I don't, I don't search as much on the online beer, beer websites and, and, and channels and, and stuff that, like I used to. And I'd love to grab that spark back, that daily spark of waking up in the morning and the first thing you think about, don't take this the wrong way, 
the first thing you think about is beer. Not drinking beer, first thing in the morning, but but what's out today? What what's, what can we look for? It, it just kind of just wanes a little bit on you. It, it's just, I suppose, I suppose it's just humanity, isn't it? It's just, it's just us as human beings. Uh, we always want the, 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 the kind of the next thing, the, the next thing that kind of creates the buzz, whatever that is. But anyway, this is a beer review. I just wanted to get that off my chest though. I wanted to talk about that, you know? Because I've wanted to tell you guys for a while. I just didn't know how to kind of come across and, 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 and bring it out. But here we are. I've spoken a little bit about myself for once rather than just beer. You're learning a little bit more about me as a person rather than rather than the guy just talking about beer. So just to sum it up quickly, I want to get my interest back to when it was that daily searching with beer. Maybe we'll get there. Maybe beers like this will will get us back searching. Let's rate it. Firestone Walker, Leo versus Ursus, Fortum. Oh, Leo versus Ursus, Chronology Fortum, unfiltered Imperial India Pale Ale, 8.2% ABV. How do I rate it? I like that enough. I reckon if I drank that at Firestone Walker's bar, I'd be screaming from the rooftops, calling it a 10 out of 10, stunning, stunning Imperial IPA. Uh, I'm old enough and wise enough to know that, that this beer has been on a boat, it might be sat in a warehouse for a while, and it's finally got to me. So um, I'm going to still give this beer a Stone the Crows 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up, boom, and cheers.